On August 18, 2024, DRDO tested India's long-range anti-ship missile, or LRASM. This test marks a massive leap forward for India in hypersonic technology. While India already has the Sharia hypersonic quasi-ballistic missile, the LRASM brings something entirely new to the table. But what makes this missile so special? Let's find out. Hypersonic missiles are categorized into three types. Hypersonic glide vehicles, hypersonic quasi-ballistic missiles, and hypersonic cruise missiles. Russia remains the only nation possessing all three categories. China has glide vehicles and quasi-ballistic missiles. India, until now, relied primarily on the Sharia missile. So what makes LRASHM different? Unlike quasi-ballistic missiles like Sharia or Russia's Iskander, which depend on speed with limited maneuverability, it is built for extreme hypersonic speeds while executing intense, unpredictable maneuvers. It features a heat shield that protects the missile during hypersonic flight, preventing structural failure. The warhead ensures precision strikes, ideal for destroying high-value naval targets. Advanced avionics and the RF seeker guide the missile with pinpoint accuracy, even in the face of electronic warfare where GPS signals and communications could be jammed. But the real magic is in its maneuverability. Take a look at the wing design and control surfaces. These are no ordinary features. They enable the missile to perform advanced maneuvers even at lower altitudes, dodging defenses with precision. However, will it fly as low as a traditional cruise missile? Likely not. Still, it operates at lower altitudes than other hypersonic missiles, giving it a stealth advantage. With a range of more than 950 miles, this missile can cover strategic areas across China and Pakistan, safeguarding India's maritime interests. While exact details about the speed and flight altitude remain undisclosed, it is expected to outperform Chinese DF-17 or DF-21 carrier killer missiles in terms of accuracy, reliability, and flexibility.